at CSC, the Center for Science and Environment. As environmentalists, we have been pointing out that one of the key pathways for AMR, which is antibiotic or antimicrobial resistance, is not just the fact that we overuse antibiotics as humans, but also that we use these in the food we grow, in the livestock sector, and in the poultry sector, and even in crops. And so this is adding to a new challenge because this over this use of antibiotics in this sector is adding to the antibiotic resistance. And quite simply, this means that the most effective medicine that humans know today will become ineffective. They will become resistant because of overuse. We will lose our capacity to get well again. This is why AMR is a silent pandemic. Last year, at the United Nations, the high-level meeting on AMR at the General Assembly came up with a very important political declaration. I want to highlight to you the four key issues that they put down that the world must act on. One that we need to recognize that there is an adverse impact of using antibiotics as growth promoters. The second is that we need to recognize that there is a group of antibiotics which are medically important, which are critically important for humans. These are our last resort medicines. They cannot be used in the animal sector in the food sector, in the crop sector, because that overuse will make sure that resistance will grow further. The world recognized we need to meaningfully, and the word they used is, was meaningfully reduce the amount of antimicrobials used in the agri-food systems from current levels to 2030. They didn't set a target but they warned us and they told us that this must happen. And to do this, what the world also recognized is that the best way to do this is through prevention. And one of the things that the declaration points to is that it should be prudent, it should be responsible, and the use of antibiotics should be avoided or in fact stopped for use for prophylactic reasons. Now, what does that mean? That basically means that farmers should not be spraying antibiotics to prevent diseases from happening. They should be giving their animals antibiotics when the animal needs it most. Therapeutic reasons, not prophylactic reasons. The question for us is, what do we do in the countries of the South? The countries of the South need an agenda that we will have ownership over, that works for us. And in that agenda, we need to identify the following. One, we need access to antibiotics. We know that. We need the cost to be affordable. For us, that is a key issue. Two, we need to make sure our smallholder agriculture system is already designed in a way that it avoids the use of chemicals. We need to give the incentives to farmers so that they don't first chemicalize and then have to clean up because we know we can't afford the cost of cleaning up. Third, we need to conserve those antibiotics that are important for humans and we need to make sure that those are not used in the livestock or agriculture systems, which means each of our governments need a list and then to make sure that those are not used. The big agenda as environmentalists is of course the agenda of waste. We know that pharma industry, when it manufactures antibiotics, also has waste, which then has residues of antibiotics, which is difficult to clean up. That technology is expensive, but once it gets into our water, into our land system, it adds to the crisis of AMR.
So this is a technology issue, it is a pollution monitoring issue, but it's clearly an issue which we can find cost-effective solutions to. For us, the agenda is prevent, prevent, prevent. Because the challenge for us is that we need to grow more food, but we need to do this without the cost to the environment, to our health and to the future generation. We have to act now to protect our present and to secure our future. This is the agenda.